Hey guys, my name is Scott, and this is a video for the Subtank Mini. And um, the music you heard at the beginning of the video, that's uh, my music. Um, you could call it my band, Gaslight Disco, but it's really just me playing everything uh, and singing. So I um, have a record out soon. I'll let you know how you can get that if, if you're interested. Anyhow, um, I've been using the Subtank Mini for uh, probably about three or four weeks, I think, uh, if not a little longer, and um, been really loving it. Um, you know, normally, uh, you know, I enjoy dripping. That's that's kind of the what I'm into. I um, have a lot of RDAs that I use, and um, you know, I, I dr I've been driving my mom to the hospital uh, for a while, and uh, mostly to the eye doctor uh, to get a lot of laser surgery, and. Uh, that's been happening very frequently, so I needed a I needed a tank, something um, something good that I could take with me and not have to worry about dripping, not have to worry about uh, finding a red light. So um, you know, I've got a few other tanks that I, you know they're they're okay, but this one um, this has really just blown me away with um, how much flavor I'm getting, and uh, yeah, it's really. To be honest, I mean, this is really uh, matched up to, um, to to a few of my RDAs. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this. So um, I'll show you guys uh, what's in the box, and I'll show you. Um, I'll show. I'll also show you how I've been cleaning it. Um, I just, uh, you know, I just run water and uh, clean it and air dry most of the time. Or if I can't wait, I'll, um, you know, get uh, get some paper towel and dry it off myself. But um, but yeah, I don't know, you know, if it's the right way, uh, the way I've been doing it, but it works for me, and um, I've been getting no flavor crossover when I switch, um, you know, from different liquids and everything. So yeah, everything's been going good with that. So I'll just give you a, a quick peek at that, and um, and then we'll uh, come back. So um, so we'll jump in, and uh, thanks for coming by. So here is the sub tank mini. This is the box that it comes in. Open that up, and this is pretty cool actually. It's like a little drawer that slides out here, and we've got a uh, manual. Um, this is uh, this is actually pretty important. Um, you're gonna want to put some drops of juice in your uh, coil head, so you don't get a nasty dry fire on that and uh, dry hit. Then a uh, certificate of authenticity or product authenticity, instructions how to check all that. And um, so here's how the tank came itself. And mine was, uh, mine was packaged with the, uh, the 0.5 coil head pre-installed. And, and uh, let's see here. Okay, so we got some cotton for the RBA, and we got some extra extra rings. Um, there's a coil in here, coil here for the RBA, and a couple screws and a screwdriver. And the RBA has, as well, it's got a coil pre-installed on it. There you go. If you uh, if you don't want to use that, obviously just Take her off and use a different one. Uh, build your own. Um, which you know, this is very cool. I'm uh, really excited about this. This is this was one of the big uh, selling points for me actually. And um, this breaks down into three pieces, like so. Okay, there you go. And they give us a spare glass, which is great. I mean, that's. Uh, that could really come in handy. And here is the extra coil head, which should be 1.2. Now, um, I have been using these. Th this one is the one that I used first because that's right around my uh, that's right around my spot 1.2. That's that's what I enjoy vaping at. But I've been enjoying the sub ohming too. Um, and I have the 0.5 in here, so I've been using that a lot too. And um, break it down here. Here is the here's the 1.2, or no, I'm sorry, that's the 0.5. Okay, 
Okay. And here's the base. Okay, and here's the adjuster for different air holes. We've got two, one, none, and then wide open. I assume no air holes. I've, I've heard people say that um, there's not really use for it, but the what I uh, think is that that might aid you in, uh, if you're having any wicking problems, you can just close that off and uh, give a few uh, give a few prime uh, inhales on it. Um, drip tip. And then the glass. Now my glass is coming off pretty easy because I've had it off um, probably four or five times cleaning this out. Um, it's it was very hard to get off the first time, and I I actually have a pretty good way that I'll show you how I did it. Uh, just a sec here. Okay, so. What I did, I, it comes off very easy for me now, but what I did, because I'm, I'm telling you, this thing was tough to, to remove. So I, I took, um, you know, I have, I have different pliers, and, and it's got a soft, well, not too soft, but kind of a rubbery grip on it. And I use that as to not damage the, uh, the sub-tank in any way. So what I did is I just kind of rest this against the... Um, that's the chimney or whatever that is in there. Just rest it against that. And while I was pushing in that direction, uh, my other hand was on the glass pulling in that direction. So it just, you know, popped right out for me. And that was a really good way of doing it without damaging anything. Um, otherwise, I mean, this, this thing was not coming off. It was, uh, it was really difficult to get off. But once you've had it off, it seems, uh, uh the second time it was, uh, it was just a little tough to get off. But after that, it just slides right off. And it seems to be doing a great job as far as, um, avoiding leaks or anything. I, you know, it's, it's definitely, uh, doing what it needs to do. So it's been, uh, it's been great. So, uh, so we put the drip tip back in. And uh, let's see here, stick our 0.5 back in there. Okay, and now here's what we do. We can fill her up. And um, I've got some uh, Cutwood Boss Reserve here that I'm going to put in there. And um, probably speed this part up a little bit because using these uh, droppers, take quite a while and um, well, actually I'm not gonna fill it all the way I, I have not even tried this uh, juice yet I've I'm a big fan of the unicorn milk and the uh, sugar bear which I think is being changed to a sugar drizzle um, which, uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys heard, but one of the names they were considering was Cream Shot. I, I just, I was just amazed to hear that. It was kind of funny, actually, but that would uh, be pretty weird walking into a store and asking, hey, can I get a Cream Shot, you know? Um, anyway, you know, I'm sure you've heard it before, but just make sure you don't uh, fill it past uh, that hole where the chimney is, uh, right in the middle of there. Uh, you know, because it's just going to go straight through. Uh, just like any tank, you know, you guys have seen this with any tank pretty much. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm not going to not gonna fill it all the way, just in case I don't like it. Um, so there you go with that, and uh, I will show you guys, um, show you guys what mod I'm using it on and what I'm getting out of it. Here's a close-up of the RBA. And I'll take this apart for you. Okay, so we've got the top there. The ring, and then here's the uh, here's the deck with a uh, with a with a coil already installed on it. So there you have that. Okay, so here is the sub tank mini. And this is what it looks like on a turtle ship mod. Uh, this is a turtle ship clone. And I've been using it a lot with this one lately um, just because the buyer. Or the, I've been using it with this one a lot lately because the button just doesn't require much of, uh, of anything. I mean, you can, you can hit this thing 
so easily. I mean, this, this button is just absolutely effortless. Here's what she looks like on one of my uh, all-time favorite mods, mechanical mods at least, um, the uh, Smoke or Smock um, Magneto. Really nice looking. 22 millimeter, so it's 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 gonna look great on all of these uh, 22 millimeter mechanical mods. And here we have the natural, sitting pretty nice on that. The origin. Here she sits on the hammer. And this is a hammer clone, by the way. Um, I believe it's a, I think it's a Tobacco hammer clone. I could be mistaken on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, looks great on there too. Okay, so we're back here, and um, got the uh, got the sub tank going on a um, turtle ship mod and um, mechanical mod. I've got an eighteen six fifty in there, and uh, it came off the charger probably about a uh, couple hours ago. But I haven't I haven't been using it much. Um, you know, I, I I've taken probably fifteen hits off of it. Um, so uh so it, sh it should be pretty close but anyway um so yeah i just want to tell you uh what i think of this and the pros and cons and um yeah basically um well you know right off the bat one of the pros with this is um it holds a ton of liquid um i'm sure you know if if, if you've uh, researched it or if you've uh, taking a look at it. I mean you can tell but yeah it, it holds a ton um, I can't remember the exact number I don't remember the six six mils or what it was um, but it, it's it's quite a bit um, and I've noticed you know sub ohming I'm going through it a lot faster than I did with the 1.2 coil head um, well a little faster I guess not you know not a ton but yeah I mean it's it's definitely noticeable um, the construction on this is just extremely solid um, you know, I mean, I, you know, I don't know if this is, uh, it, it appears that it's machined, you know, I don't know exactly how they're making it, but it, you know, the machining, I mean, it looks, uh, looks great. Um, the, uh, the machining on the, the lettering, the Kanger Tech lettering, I mean, that is just so sharp. It's just, it looks like it's done right. Um, and then, uh, another pro is the, uh, the RBA, that's, that's actually um, kind of the selling point for me on it. Uh, that's kind of what really closed the deal, so to speak. But um, but the funny thing about that is that I haven't even used it yet. Um, I've just been enjoying the coil heads that came with it. So, um, you know, I'm definitely going to get on that soon, you know, and um, I'll probably make a video um, just showing that too, you know, maybe showing a build on that. So. Um, price, um, I think I paid 42 bucks and, um, honestly, it's some of the best $42 I think I've spent. Um, yeah, I mean, when I think of, um, when I think of all the other gear that I bought, I mean, this is really, um, this is going to get a lot of use. I mean, I, I'm going to be using this thing a lot more than, um, 
Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be neck and neck with um, I think the uh, the RDA I use the most is um, my big block, and um, and yeah, this will be this will be right up there next to that. Um, tons of airflow, getting a ton of airflow and uh, excellent flavor out of this too. Um, great looking tank, um, comes with everything. You know, I mean they're they're. Uh, they're giving you so much with it. That's it. Feels like a really great value when you open that box and you see everything that you're getting in there. It uh, really feels like you're getting your money's worth. I mean, it really does. I remember buying the um, the Atlantis, and uh, and that was pretty cool. When I you know I opened it and I saw an ex you know extra coil head and uh, and uh, glass, but um, but yeah, when you open this thing, I mean, it just feels like Christmas. You know, it's just the stuff just keeps on coming. Um, 22 millimeters. That's a that's another huge selling point for me. Um, most of my um, most of my mods are 22 millimeter. Most of them. Uh, so um, that's kind of what kept me away from buying the original sub tank. To be honest, um, I really wanted it, but. I don't know, I just couldn't get past, you know, using the beauty ring, just, I don't know, it just didn't, uh, just didn't seem right to me, personally, you know. Um, but yeah, overall quality, I, I, um, I don't think I've gotten one dry hit out of this thing in the three or four weeks that I've been using it, and that's the honest truth, I haven't gotten one single dry hit. Um, now, I, you know, I do make sure, even, even when I do rinse the coil heads out, I do make sure that I, um, that I prime them with juice, and I did that right right from the beginning. So that that could aid in that as well. I don't know. Now, as far as cons go, um, you know, one one of the uh, one of the cons that I have, you know, I don't know what was happening. I, I really can't tell you, but there was a point about two weeks ago where I noticed leaking happening, and I I was pretty sure I had everything tight. But I did notice some juice around the ring and uh, kind of dripping down the mod. Now, I don't know if that came from blowing it, you know, if I uh, got some blowback. I mean, I normally don't blow into it, you know, but if I accidentally did, I don't know if maybe I shot some juice through the air hole or something. I, I really don't know. But, um, but there was one or two occasions where um, I would just surprisingly find juice all of a sudden, and I would know because I had it on my hand, and I was like, why, why do I have juice in my hand? And I'd look, and I'm like, oh, I've got, uh, I've got some leaking going on here. Um, but since, you know, since I was aware of that, I've been really focusing on tightening everything up really well, and I haven't had any leaks since. So, you know, it, it was probably an error in my using uh, uh, of it. I, I don't know, you know an error in my use but um but anyway you know that that kind of scared me you know i i was really in love with it i was hoping that this thing wasn't uh, gonna keep doing that and it hasn't um sometimes it gets hard to unscrew um especially on this turtle ship you know it it, it seems to want to um you know and it, it is probably you know all in the within the user too you know but um and i you know i try not to bolt it on there tight but uh, sometimes I got to get it off there and uh, and get the uh, get the base or the top of the uh, the mod and just really crank on them to get them apart. Um, and that's you know that's happened probably three or four times with me. Um, and uh, another thing, you know, I kind of wish that there was a way to fill it from the top. Um, you know, I know, I know this design. This is kind of how they go. You know, you, you unscrew it and you know you have it upside down and fill it that way and then you know screw your uh you know screw everything on that way and then you tip it back over but it would be nice if there was some way um you know if there was maybe a, a screw up here or something or if you could unscrew the top and and fill it that way you know that would be that would be great you know that's that's something that i i, I would really love to see on a on a future model maybe and i don't know if that's possible um, I, I would think it would be, you know, I don't know if, if that would, um, welcome any, uh, new leaking issues. I don't know. I, I, I think they could do it. Uh, came very clean to me. There was, uh, no oil or anything like that. It was, uh, it was ready to go. 
And uh, of course, I usually rinse them off anyway, but, but she was ready to go right out of the box. And it's been very easy to clean and uh, very easy to dry. There's uh, no areas that are hard to get to. If I, you know, if I can't wait and I want to dry it myself, uh, there's no areas that are hard to get to to get the water out or anything like that. And I don't really, you know, um, I, I heard an issue with the sub tank, the original, where uh, the liquid would get trapped in between uh, the rails here in the in the glass and. You know, I guess it seems like uh, it seems like juice is kind of getting in there, but it's not a lot. I mean, it's not it's nothing to cry about. You know, there's there's just you know it's not a ton. I mean, such little space in there anyway. And you know, I take it apart and clean it when I'm uh, when I'm done using it anyway. So what's the difference? You know, uh, at least for me. So anyway, um, I really recommend this, guys. Um, I bought this with my own money, so Kanger Tech isn't. Uh, you know, they're not sending me a freebie to tell you uh, that it's a great product. Um, I can honestly tell you that I love it, you know, and um, I would buy five more of them, you know, if, um, you know, if money wasn't the issue. So, um, can't recommend it enough. And, um, you know, I that's about all I can really say at this point. Um, I thank you for stopping by, and um, I'll be doing many more videos. This is kind of uh, my first vape video. Uh, but I'll be doing a ton of them. So um, there'll be a lot of that out there for you guys. So uh, please subscribe, you know, if you uh, if you like the video. And uh, I'll be doing a lot more. And um, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I also have, um, you know, some guitar lesson videos going up if, uh, if there's any uh, beginner guitar players or anything like that. And uh, uh, some other stuff too. So um, anyhow, um, Sub Tank Mini. Highly recommended. Thanks for coming.